Hello everybody and welcome to Sony's first YouTube Live back to school special. My name is Derek and with me is the marvelous Michelle, the lovable Larry, and the jovial JT. And we've got a lot of <laughs> awesome stuff to talk about and I know Larry's just dying to get his piece. So have yeah, at it, my friend. I, I am. And so lovable, like... You can be, there's I, moments. I have my moments. <laughs> But what you guys are gonna love are what we're gonna have to talk about today. And we're super excited about it. And it's all about those back to school essentials. I'm talking about the things that make going back to school just a little bit more enjoyable. So we're gonna talk about, I don't know, tons of categories. And we'll probably start off with headphones and earbuds. We'll probably then transition to wireless speakers. And then we're going to uh, talk a little bit about gaming. Whoa, 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 I thought this was back to school. What are we doing talking about gaming, man? Uh, yeah, there's this balance, right, that we have to have between having fun and gaming. Okay, we're So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about gaming. You're right. Of course we are. <laughs> then we're going to follow that up for you content creators out there. Talk a little bit about digital imaging. Then we're going to talk about television. Ooh. And then wrap it up with soundbar. But what's really, really important for you all to know is that we are live here on set and we are here for you which means should you have any questions throughout our time with you today, make sure you hop in the chat and let us know things that either you're excited about or things that you want to know about. And then we'll be able to answer some of those questions. I see, look at Derek over there. <laughs> Derek's getting all engaged. I am, I'm getting involved. You yes, are. yes I am. So one thing I wanna call out as well, on the YouTube side of things, we do also offer a one-on-one -on -one consultation program, which I will tell you a lot more about that if you check out the link in the description below. So if there are questions that we can't answer here live quickly, and we'll try to get to as many as we can, but maybe you wanna to talk to an expert like myself or Michelle, or maybe Larry, probably not, uh, but you can schedule a time with us and we can really spend some time to really discuss what is gonna be the best Sony solution for you and your needs. You'll probably hear me say that quite a bit. But make sure you check out the description links uh, as well because there will be links to all the products we're featuring. And there's also going to be some QR codes that are gonna pop up occasionally that you can take a snapshot of and it's gonna pull up a playlist of all of a uh, lot of information and to go more in depth on a lot of the products that we have featured today, so. Yeah, both. tons of product, like I, yes. I can see you. But before we get started, hold on. Shouts out to tons of people that yes. are out there that have already joined. Uh, Stormy, what's up? Uh, Robert, what's up? And say 30, right? Yeah. Yeah, say. Spider, uh, Spider Co. Yes, sir. Yes. All right, Welcome. excited to have you all join us. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm now. gonna yeah. do my thing though. So. Right, Derek has to go. Yeah, so in the meantime, while Derek gets set up, why don't you take a little glimpse at what Derek had to, had some opportunity to do with one of his favorite products uh, over the weekend. I am excited to talk about personal audio because it is something that I use all the time. I love having access to my music whenever I want, wherever I want, and we have options that can make that happen, not only for me, but of course, more importantly, for all of you out there. So what we have here today is something that I'm really excited to talk about, and I have talked about uh, quite a bit before, and that's the Link Buds. The Link Buds have a completely revolutionary design with an open ring driver that literally keeps you connected to the outside world. So not only can you hear whatever you're listening to, maybe it's a music or possibly a podcast or one of your favorite streamers, but now if you meet somebody in the road that you know, you can have that conversation without taking them out. You can jump into any conversation at any time while still enjoying all your content on the go, which is fantastic. But maybe you want to actually not be connected to the outside world, and that's where the Link Buds S come into play. These are a fantastic option of giving you the choice of being connected to the outside world or being disconnected from the outside world with the optional noise canceling. By simply just tapping one of the buds based on the settings that you set, you can turn that on or off. So if you need to study and it's time to focus at that time, 
turn on the noise canceling, focus on what you need to, but if somebody needs, one of your study partners needs to speak with you, just tap it again, turn that off, you can have that conversation. No more of this taking headphones off, putting them on, taking earbuds out, putting them back in. That's a thing of the past with the Link Buds or the Link Buds S. Awesome options, something that you can wear consistently throughout your day while you're walking around campus or just hanging out in the dorm. It, it'll work great for you in any case scenario. Now, maybe you wanna go with something a little more practical and don't need all these bells and whistles like noise canceling and being connected. The C500s are an amazing price, all around solid earbuds that are just great deal right now. So make sure you check those out too. But we can't forget those of you who are audiophiles, people who really wanna get the best of the best when it comes to not only noise canceling, but also of course, audio quality. And that's where the WF-1000X Mark IVs come into play. They sound absolutely fantastic in my opinion, in terms of an earbud, the best noise canceling and best sound you can get. Full range clarity from the low, lows to the highs. Everything you listen to sounds absolutely fantastic on these but maybe you don't like earbuds. I have two different sized ears with thankfully with the adjustable sizes of the tips, the Link Buds S and Link Buds work great for me. Now, if earbuds aren't your thing, which in some cases it is not, that's where we have great headphone options as well. And we are not messing around when it comes to quality for both noise canceling and audio, no matter what you're listening to with the WH-1000X Mark IVs or the WH-1000X Mark Vs. Now, these are absolutely incredible for not only listening to anything you want. Maybe you're going to school for art or music or even like film. If you need detail, these will deliver that in spades. They sound awesome, but also allow you to keep focused with, in my opinion, unparalleled noise canceling capability. We have options for everybody. So back to school, there's options if you wanna be connected, be disconnected, focus on your schoolwork, which I do recommend. We have something for you, so make sure you check these out. But I'm sure we have some opinions over here, and I really wanna know what you guys think about it as well. So I'm starting to kind of get an idea of really what's been going on with my friend Derek. I have a tendency to try to talk to him and then he just randomly ignores me. So I think that's why he puts so much emphasis on that noise canceling thing. I think Derek is, I, I'm on to you, brother. I'm yeah, on to you. That's okay. Yeah, no, it's all good. <laughs> but Derek talked about a lot of products, right? And I think the one that I am most excited about that I've had a chance to use myself is the Link Buds. And the fact that it does have that open ring driver to be able to enjoy my music and still be able to be aware totally of everything that's around me is an absolute win for me. So if you are part of the one earbud crew out there where you always feel compelled, compelled to walk around with one in your ear, this is absolutely, absolutely the option for you. You can leave both in your ear, not sacrifice any of the sound quality that you truly have earbuds for, but still be able to communicate with everyone around you and just exist in your day-to-day -day life, right JT? Absolutely, and you know, I gotta say, I love the original Link Buds, but my go-tos now are the Link Buds S. Hmm. Before work, I get out for a quick run with my dog and with the ambient sound, I can be aware of traffic around us, I can make sure she's being the best girl, and then as soon as we head back inside and I get to work, I just tap noise canceling on and I can just focus on what I need to focus on. Yeah, totally get that. Michelle, what do you think? Oh gosh. I love all the headphones. Um, it's really hard to just choose one, right? Um, but my go-to is also the Link Buds S. It's multifunctional. Um, I love that for me personally, I am very active. I love working out. So I know that they're not gonna fall off, you know, from my ears. They're very secure. So when I'm on the Stairmaster, right, I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I've dropped them, you know? <laughs> and also they're sweat resistant. So I can just feel, you know, um, secure. And also sometimes it's necessary to be able to hear what's going on around you. Um, I can block out you know, noises I don't want to hear at the gym. But if I've got a fitness buddy with me, right, I want to be able to hear if they're trying to talk to me. So yeah, it's really hard to choose, but I really love the Link Buds S. <laughs> yeah, and I know Michelle, and when Michelle says fitness buddy, she's actually talking about personal training. <laughs> so not all of us are on that baller <laughs> status like Michelle no. is, but it's all good. Anyway, Derek, you gave us tons of information. You gave us tons and tons of information, but the quick question I have for you that I think I missed over there is, what about pricing? It's interesting that you missed it. 
because I didn't say it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, there there are a lot of amazing deals happening right now. So again, make sure you check out the description in the links. The links in the description below would probably make more sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but here's the deal: the Link Buds at one fifty nine ninety nine, great price as is, great deal, and they fit for a lot of people's use cases. The Link Buds S giving you that ability to have the noise canceling also at one forty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So it's a yeah, killer deal absolutely. for uh, cheapest prices, from what I understand, the cheapest price that they've been so far. So uh, they are a heck of a deal. And I bought an extra pair so that my wife can have a pair as well because I don't want to give mine up because I do right. use them so much. But we do also have the, the C500s that I mentioned as well as far as a great bang for the buck at $69.99 as well. So we have options for a lot of people, pretty much everybody, just a matter of what you choose to take advantage of. But again, we talked a lot about the Link Buds S, but don't discount the quality that you can get out of the 1000X series. And that includes the WF-1000X Mark III Buds, the WH-1000X Mark IVs, and the WH-1000X Mark Vs. They're definitely going to give you that additional premium audio quality as well as that noise canceling. So really kind of personal preference. But Yeah, it's funny you say that from a personal preference standpoint. I actually have the WH-1000X Mark IVs as well as the link buds because depending on the environment the situation i'm in one is better suited for nice. me than the other mm -hmm. right my casual day-to-day -day, maybe i'm in the office whatever the case may be i really like having the link buds again so i can stay connected to my surroundings but when i do travel for business reasons or even for pleasure and leisure it is nice for me to be able to put my wh1000x mark fours on where i can really zone in and really get into the music that i truly love. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's it's definitely yeah, you can definitely really focus on, you know, the quality of whatever it is you're listening to, but yeah. really quick, we'll just kind of touch on some of these questions while we're here cuz I don't want to get too uh, inundated by a lot of these, but uh, I do want to kind of broadly state unfortunately, we cannot comment on future products. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that at this point in time. So unfortunately, right. if you do have a question about something that you are hoping for, Unfortunately, we cannot address that at this time. Yep. Uh, but you know, it's a great idea to maybe follow or subscribe to Sony's channel. And then yep. if there is something coming up, you'll be one of the first to know. So ring that notification bell, give us a like, all that good stuff. So that way you can be aware of everything that's going on with Sony. Yeah, and also again, remember if there are additional questions that you may not get from us here today, obviously there's a playlist link also in the description that'll send you to some more in-depth videos that we've uh, created and produced that give you a lot more information about these amazing products. So definitely give that a look as well. Yeah, lots of good stuff. Lots of people liking the link buds and use cases and stuff like that, which is awesome. So thank you all. Keep the comments coming uh, as well as the questions and we'll get to everything that we can. And I already see out of my peripherals Larry doing his little, <laughs> I, I need to oh. do something right now. So yes, Larry. I cannot you, contain myself anymore. Yes, He's so Larry, excited. I, think, I feel like you have something you want to tell I us. do. So I love that we've talked about earbuds, mm -hmm. but I have really spent a lot of time here recently with the wireless speakers, and I definitely have a lot to share with you all so that uh, I'm just going to go over there and do that right now, okay? Yep. So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Okay, so now Amazon shoppers, I'm super excited to have my moment to highlight some back to school essentials that I'm most excited about. As you can see, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about wireless speakers. And of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't start off with probably the most useful one of the bunch, and that's the XB13. This ultra compact lightweight speaker is great for that on the go student. You have a handy strap that attaches to a backpack and it can go everywhere you go. Now to the left side, I wanna showcase I'll call them the siblings, the XE200 and XE300. Now, obviously, just at quick glance, you can see that one is larger than the other, but both of these amazing speakers share a lot of features in common. I'm gonna first start off with their sound quality. Now, coming from Sony, that's a pillar of our existence. We're gonna make sure that all of our wireless speakers deliver exceptional sound quality. You'll notice the front of these speakers have a line-shaped diffuser, meaning that no matter where you place it in a room, the sound can spread out for group listening and everyone can enjoy it at the same time. 
Now, some of the differences between these two speakers are gonna be battery life. The smaller XC200 has up to 16 hours of battery life for those that want to cut their party short a little bit. Now, if you're more like me with the XC300, we wanna keep the party going all day. And with up to 24 hours of battery life, you can absolutely do that, but uh, don't tell mom and dad. Either way, you're gonna enjoy it. All right, so the last feature I wanna discuss with the three speakers you see in the front is their IP67 rating. That means they're both dustproof and waterproof. So whether you're hanging out poolside, chilling out at the beach, or you decide to camp over the weekend, all three of these speakers will be able to brave the elements and still work. Excuse me for a second. Uh, this is Larry. Oh, hey, what are you up to? JT, are you not here with me seeing me? Is there something I can help you with, sir? Oh, yes, and uh, I guess it's just a great opportunity to remind me that these speakers have a speakerphone function, too. Yeah, they also have a good hang-up function. So, of course, you have the ability to use these speakers as a speakerphone, so you can be hands-free while you're doing homework, studying, or just playing your video games. Now, I do have a fourth speaker, and I know you see it right here, so I wanna to talk to you about that really, really briefly because it is my favorite, and that's the XG300. What I really love about this speaker is it shares a lot of the same characteristics as the other speakers, IP67 rating, amazing audio quality, but we can crank it up a notch with 25 hours, up to 25 hours of battery life. But I think the most useful thing that you're gonna notice about this is this amazing hideaway handle. So it makes it easy to carry on the go, and then when you place it back on the tabletop, it, st it still becomes an aesthetically pleasing item that you can have the centerpiece of your house. Now let's talk pricing real quick because I know that's what you really want to know about. The XP13 in the front is $49.99. The XC200 is $109.99. And the XC300 is $169.99. And my personal favorite, first time we've put it on sale, it's $50 off down to $299.99. So make sure you're clicking on those items and uh, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends and give JT a hard time. So, hey, talk to you in a minute. Back to you guys. <laughs> As Larry uh, slowly approaches, I can't help but feel he's got some comments to If you make. ever <laughs> interrupt me like that again <laughs> on a live broadcast, my friend, you and I will have to have a little talking. You have to admit, that's a killer feature. It is a dope feature, you're right. Yeah, no lie. I, I love the fact <laughs> that with respect to the, the, that speakerphone capability, with the world that we're in now with multiple conference calls, live chats and things of that nature, it's nice to be able to have that feature and also the call quality on both sides of it are amazing, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah I was just gonna say, I, I, don't, I, I don't know how well it translated through microphones there, but, but yeah, it absolutely does sound much clearer than mm -hmm. I assume it probably sounds up there, so. Uh, but the feature is awesome to have as an extra little bit. Yeah. But I, if I may, you may. may I? Thank you. Okay. Um, and actually, I just saw a comment on there from Zyfex. I, I, sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, Sony speaker disguised as a cup. Uh, I, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, but I, uh, it obviously in reference to the XB13. Um, I want to make a comment about that because yeah. I think that speaker is really, really underrated. Mm -hmm. um, I think mm -hmm. it sounds awesome. Um, it is a full range driver, so it really does a great job of full range, right? To sound really good, yeah. but the portability is awesome. I have a three-year-old daughter who calls it the blue speaker. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't really say blue doesn't come out quite right yet, but Aww. it's the blue speaker <laughs> and it's great that she can carry it around while, you know, I can play something to it, Bluetooth and she can carry it around wherever she happens to be playing throughout the house. So, right. and it's not, you know, I don't, I can make sure it's not super loud, still sounds really clean. Another underrated feature that I know you didn't touch on was the stereo pairing capability uh, of yes. the XB13. So you can actually get a true left and right separation and you would be surprised at how well those fill a room. And because it's true left, right, it really gives you a nice sense of space. So for something so small mm -hmm. and for the price that it's at, right. like you gotta get two. You should get two. You should get two. Mm -hmm. So should get two. Just, just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I mean, for me, I think my favorite um, speaker that you mentioned will definitely have to be the XE200. I get it. Okay, because I mean, I can be a little indulgent sometimes. Uh oh. And it's great that they sound so good and they're waterproof. That's the reason why I'm spending hours in the shower. <laughs> you know why? Because 
I'm at a concert. Uh oh. And it, it's my concert. <laughs> and it just sounds so amazing, you know? You're saying I'm giving myself encores. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What about you? What do you guys think? I, I think as long as you don't set up your stuffed animals along the sink to be your audience, I think you're safe. On in court, whatever on court. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> See, what are your thoughts, man? That. So, <laughs> you know, no personal comment or a concert story on my side, but I love my XG300. Mm -hmm. Long day of work, I set it up on the balcony, I've got the patio lights, mm -hmm. maybe a couple cold beverages out there and just mm -hmm. listen to tunes for a few hours. And great thing about it too is if I do forget it outside, Pick it up the next morning, it rained the night before, I have nothing to worry about that waterproofing. So again, not quite using the shower, but works for me too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When JT says couple of beverages, he really means. <laughs> but we're not gonna go there. I think one thing I did forget to mention about the XG300 that is super amazing is the very subtle, but very impactful ambient lighting around the speakers. So it's amazing during the daytime, obviously you've got the sound, you're being able to see everyone that's around you. But if you are in an environment, maybe late night in the dorm, maybe you've got a couple of friends over, you're listening to whatever's on your playlist, your track list, your favorite hits. Um, it's nice to have that sort of illuminate the room to give you a vibe and a feel, which really kind of takes you away from the hustle and bustle of maybe your part-time job and work. Music is a great escape from those things. So definitely another thing I meant to mention. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna address, uh, cause we don't wanna, we don't wanna leave you guys hanging. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I don't wanna ruin any names either. So I'm just gonna say Q Mohammed, shout out to you, Greenheart. Uh, and Stormy, yes, of course. Awesome on the 1000X Mark IV is WF. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have any decibels on the speakers. As far as rattling window panes, depends on your windows. So <laughs> if they're, you know, it really kind of depends on that. As some of my older houses, uh, the XB13 could rock the window panes. Oh yeah, so. and speaking of too, like my XG300 on the balcony, anything above about 40% and I've got the neighbors knocking on my door. So they sure. do have quite a bit of power. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Unfortunately, Ivo is not here with us today. So. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But there are some videos out there on YouTube and you can learn a little bit more about Ivo from me. Yeah. You're welcome. So feel yep. free to check those out. But again, keep the comments and questions coming as well as the likes. And we've talked a lot about audio, but along with audio, you uh -oh. gotta talk about picture. Yes. But it not, might not be in the way that you're uh, assuming at the moment, because we're talking about great picture quality and more importantly, how amazing JT looks <laughs> on the beautiful cameras we have to show. It is uh, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so really cool thing about this is we're watching this on YouTube. So either maybe you're following a couple content creators out there, or maybe we've got some budding content creators in the audience. So what I would take a few moments to do is show you some of the amazing tools we have for video creation, for vlogging, and those budding content creators out there, or if you're looking to get more serious about your vlogging, uh, we've got some amazing cameras in our Alpha lineup too. So let's take a closer look. I'd follow you anywhere. Absolutely. And All right. Take a closer look too. <laughs> So let's take a look at some of my favorite tools for content creation and vlogging. On your right is the Compact ZV-1. This small, lightweight camera is built from the ground up for content creators and vlogging. It features our real-time tracking autofocus to make sure you and your subjects are always crisp, sharp, and in focus. It also has a one-touch background defocus mode to help isolate you from your background with nice, smooth, creamy autofocus effects. It also has our product showcase mode. This is great for product reviews and unboxing. It allows you to simply hold anything up in front of you. The camera will smoothly transition to that. And then as soon as you move the product away, it's a smooth transition back to you for a professional looking result. It also has a high quality three capsule microphone for great quality audio. The step up from the ZV-1 is the ZV-E10. Has all the content creation features of the ZV-1, but now has interchangeable lenses. Sony now has a selection of over 70 native lenses to help you unlock your creativity. From ultra wide angle lenses, to portrait lenses, to macro and close up lenses, to sports and wildlife, the sky's the limit when it comes to your creativity. For making these cameras easier to handle, take a look at the wireless shooting grip. This allows you to easily control start stop photo and start and stop video for easier one handed operation. 
And speaking of those lenses, we have a brand new trio of compact video creation lenses. Now, if you're looking to go full frame and improve your photo and video quality, there's no camera quite like the Alpha 7 Mark IV. It takes many features from the flagship Alpha cameras and brings them to a price point you may not expect. And we're looking to go with the ultimate in Sony lenses, there's nothing like our G Master lenses. Here we have the brand new 24 to 70 mm f2.8 G Master II and its sibling, the 70 to 200 f2.8 G Master II. I simply don't know of a professional Sony photographer without these two lenses in their bag. So, what do you guys think? Welcome. Welcome back to the group here, JT. Thank you. Uh, you know, there, there's some <laughs> awesome stuff and, and I have to say, I have been a fan of the ZV-1 since it came out. Um, you can learn a whole bunch more if you check out the QR codes that link to some of the videos I did an overview video uh, when it initially launched and it's fantastic. But despite all the great things we talk about there, um, it does also have USB streaming, which has been added. Um, and that's gonna be available on, on not, all, not only that, but also the ZV-E10, but also going onto many of our other mirrorless cameras. But this is one of the things that I love the most about it because of all our conference calls, you wanna look good, you wanna stand out. And for those of you going back to school, since so much of this is now so digital, doing, you know, going onto, uh, different streaming platforms, I'll say that much. Mm -hmm. um, just one simple step of turning on USB. That's two steps. It's okay. Two steps. <laughs> I'm not going to. I can't count past one, I swear. <laughs> it's happened before. Uh, turning on USB streaming mode on the camera, plugging in a USB cable, and yeah. I look amazing. Yeah. And really standing out can really change the way that you're perceived, not only as a student, but even if you're a teacher or really in any other situation of presentation. Right. When you look good, the all eyes are going to be on you for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of all eyes, you better watch out because I was watching Michelle really eyeballing your <laughs> ZV-1. So you better keep a good grip of that. Um, you don't want to end up like me. And what happened was I had the ZV-1, enjoyed it, had it for a couple of weeks, and then it mysteriously disappeared somehow from my home. Come to find out my son, who has ah. discovered <laughs> that he wants to be a YouTube streamer, has taken my camera and started to, to do, but it was a blessing in disguise, right? Because I had the opportunity to say, okay, like I love my son, so he can have the ZV-1, that's awesome. Gave me a reason, a good reason, to go ahead and invest in the ZV-E10, okay? What I will tell you in short order, what I've discovered with the ZV-E10, is the ability to change lenses, in addition to all those amazing features that you talked about, the ability to be able to change lenses allows me to sort of modify my content, whether I'm indoor with this field or if I'm outdoor on location, with that field, it allow, it, give, it just expands my ability and allows me to open up more of my creativity. So, how about you, Michelle? I mean, I'll, you'll, we'll, yeah, keep, watch it. <laughs> oh, I know, I, you know, I was just thinking just how much I love that wireless grip on the ZV-1. I mean, if, may I? Yeah, sure. I'll I mean, it. it looks, it's wonderful. I mean, for me, I do a lot of vlogging and you know, this is, you know, it's technically a memory device, you know, and sometimes you're videotaping or shooting something where you've got, you know, campus in the background or just when you're traveling, I would like to also be in it. So it's useful for me personally, for me to actually see myself in that memory. Mm. You know what I mean? So this is, very useful because I can just imagine how hard it is to flip up the screen and just do this way. Right. You know what I mean? 100%. But for me, I can just do this and you can see everybody, me and my friends at spring break, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, for me though, I, you know, I, I don't really like being on camera. I don't even know why I do this sometimes, <laughs> but I, whatever. Um, but I do love that, you know, when using this as like a USB streaming device, using it as just a tripod stand is super convenient. Yeah. And using it in the dorm, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So, right. uh, which is fantastic. Um, there are a lot of questions okay. that I want to get to real quick too. Um, I did see one I wanted to address with it. Where did it go? Oh, Squid asks, what school needs all that? Here's the cool thing. This is back to school but we don't know what you're doing at school. And that's like, everybody's gonna have a whole bunch of uses. And we know that there's gonna be people that are on here, I, I assume, right. that aren't going back to school. Right. 
It doesn't have to be for back to school. It can be for whatever makes you happy. And we want to deliver the best technology options for everybody out there, no matter what you do. Um, it just gives you all these different options. And don't get me wrong, a lot of this, pretty much all of it is going to be on my want list. Yes. I'll get some of it at like some that. point. I have for a good, sure. <laughs> I have a mounted, I do have the Z1, I don't have the grip. Right. Um, but uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff out there. So it really, there's something for everybody. Yeah. So just there really is. quick. And then there's one, I want to ask you, Larry, because okay. I know you'll have more uh, of an answer for this question here. I'm kind of sure. pointing out to you here. Okay, yes. Uh, let me see. Uh, Fantasy TKY says, why is Sony not putting more effort into, the, into marketing the Xperia Phone 2? I think it's a great question. A lot of what we've been doing with Xperia is focusing heavily on, I guess, the technology. We were the first to introduce, for, we, we brought what, six, uh, sorry, 21 by nine aspect ratio to phones, which is revolutionized. We added 4K OLED display screens, which changed the game. And then now with the Xperia Pro I, it's the, it was the world's first one inch sensor inside of a cell phone. So the hope is that with this tech and it's, unmatched really with some of the things these that the, the phones can do and as we've moved on cell phones you all know when you're on campus your cell phone you use it more for taking pictures and those things we've tried to simplify that and that's just what what we're doing with Xperia uh, hopefully you guys should give Xperia a try great devices I think you'll absolutely love it so yeah I'm all about Xperia you know more than I do. Way to go, Larry. <laughs> Way to go. Um, Pragmatic Cat asks about how long is a sale. Depends on the product. So I would suggest try not to sleep on it. Right. I'll say that much, right. at least. But so throw some stuff in your cart um, and just don't wait too long. And I hope you get everything that you want to get. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much. Uh, again, again, fortunately, we don't talk about future products in any way. So. Mm. And again, leave it at that. Right. But again, give us a like. Tell your friends and family that we are talking live. So anybody that you know that likes technology, send them our way and subscribe and uh, throw some comments in there. We love to hear it. We want to do a lot more of this as well. So we got to go yes. a little bit further. We talked a fair amount of business. You could say content creation is a little bit of mix of play slash work, depending on uh, you know the, the individual person. Right. But I know somebody who doesn't always like to work all that hard. Always got to have a little bit of uh, fun throughout the day. Michelle. Uh-oh. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess um, I better get started on yes. showing you guys what's new for InZone. Yes. Okay, let's stuff. get it. Some new stuff, so make sure to check this out. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about gaming. And here I have for you to showcase Sony's new in-zone gaming products, the M9 gaming monitor and the H9 wireless gaming headset. But first, let's talk about the M9. I don't know about you guys, but I love to watch and experience everything in 4K HDR, just like I do with my Sony 4K TV at home. This M9 monitor will definitely give you that razor sharp experience and more. Its most standout feature is the fact that it's a full array local dimming display, which will give you better contrast and incredible picture quality. Nothing will stay hidden on the screen. Everything that should be seen will be illuminated, which means that you can play your video games no matter what time of day. And when it comes to competitive gaming, it's all about speed. It's compatible with G-Sync and VRR. So you have all your bases covered. You'll have fluid gameplay and smooth motion, which will give you a competitive edge when it comes to gaming. It's got exclusive PlayStation features that make it perfect for PlayStation 5. And to complete your M9 gaming experience, don't forget to pick up your H9 gaming headset. It's got 360 spatial sound mapping, which will make you feel like you're in the action. I'm ready to game on. I'm excited for you guys to experience this. What do you guys think? Well, as far as gaming goes, this is something I don't have experience with. Yep. And I'm expecting, we're gonna get me one, yes? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down. Shut down. <laughs> I expected that, but you know what? Yeah. You gotta try, so. Right. But anyway, I'm gonna send it to this side because yes. I've seen it but I know you guys are a little bit more familiar with it than I am. Yeah, so I will take my approach with this and I, 
I get it, right? You guys are gonna judge me, but that's okay. For me, I love technology, and there's a level of expectation I have with any Sony product. So I don't always dig into those details, but I do pay close attention to aesthetics. And one of the things that I love, which I noticed it wasn't mentioned because I'm probably the only person that really loves it in the room, right? Is the fact that it has an RGB lighting system on the back of the monitor. I mean, you laugh. I do. You do. <laughs> but if you think about it, we, we spend a lot of time customizing our gaming rigs. We're choosing light systems, we're choosing everything. Most of the time we're going with transparent housing because of that image and that effect that we want. To have a monitor that can complement that with 13 different RGB LED colors that adds into your entire gaming space, for me, I know it's such a small thing, but for me, I think it's very thoughtful and I truly, truly love that. I, I, I want... I have to tie in because I like thinking about like, when you say that, mm -hmm. I almost kind of imagine like, all right, what kind of shoes I got on today to, to switch the color based on your <laughs> shoes that you happen to be wearing in that moment. And have I, you been spying on me? I don't know <laughs> enough to, to know that that's, uh, you don't mess around when it comes to the shoes. Um, but one of the things that, that, that I like when it comes to lighting, that is awesome. Absolutely. Bias lighting can really kind of change the vibe and feel. but. And again, I don't have a ton of experience with it, but obviously seeing it, I'm more concerned about the lighting on the panel, of in the display. Of you know? you and when we're talking about full array local dimming, like that is something that I love in TVs because it makes such a difference in contrast because you get that, that depth, the more of a punchier look, more realistic, really. Mm -hmm. And having that on a gaming display is, I'm intrigued mm -hmm. to say the least. I mean, you know, that's kind of had me at that, but all those other bells and whistles are just like, yes, yes, that's why I wanted one, but again, uh, nope, guess not. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> I tried, again. Yeah, yeah, I gotta say, I've been using the InZone since we launched it, and the monitor is amazing, as Derek was saying, the full array local dimming system, not only being able to have deeper blacks and brighter brights, but the key for me is the better shadow detail, so I can see my opponents in there, I get that nice competitive edge. But the other thing about that headset, I, speaking of competitive edges, that 360 spatial sound personalizer, uh, I can hear mm -hmm. enemies hiding behind the wall. Mm -hmm. Talk about an edge up from the competition. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, yeah, that does it. And a small thing, and, and this is something that I also noticed in while I was looking at the RTB lighting system, <laughs> uh, which is you know kind of a question that I think probably comes up is yes, it does have an amazing tripod stand as Michelle talked about, and you know you have that 45 degree keyboard crew, right? That's just kind of what we do. But also, the monitor is wall mountable. So I know we don't spend enough time talking about that, but that adds to the customization of really how you want your space to be. If you don't want a cluttered tabletop, if you will, or desktop with all of your, you know, your power drinks, snacks, and everything <laughs> else you need to get the edge, um, to be able to lift that up and wall mount that, I think, is also another win. So, That's yep. awesome. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, definitely something um, as far as availability. Ah, yeah. So I looked into this. Up. Yeah. So this is good. This is really good. Um, the end zone system, just overall, both monitor and headset, has been highly, highly in demand. And so we wanted to make sure that we gave you the latest information before going live today. So right now, if you do click on the link located in the description, it will take you to um, our Sony website where you can actually, actually, purchase the M9 monitor right now. There has been this massive waiting list for this product. Obviously, pre-sales were like crazy because it is amazing. We've been participants in a, a couple of gaming events, huge gaming events here recently, so very, very well received and, and, and talked about. But as I check today, only because I'm considering buying one for my son, maybe I can get my ZV-1 back. Um, do it. it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> it's, it is set to have an estimated delivery date of August 22nd or 23rd. Mm -hmm. So talking about really being able to not only just purchase it, but to get it home pretty quickly, that's pretty, that's awesome. So definitely want, um, want you guys to know that. I mean, we all know the, the headache it was with PS5. Uh, they sell out fast, the demand was super high, and then some of you unfortunately are still kind of like Derek waiting around to get theirs. Um, you don't want to fall on that boat. Now that they're available, you need to jump on this. If you're interested in gaming monitor, I highly recommend it. So, yeah. yes. Good stuff. Stormy, uh, 
Your question? We see you. Catch you. Uh, <laughs> Zifix asks, in, uh, is the InZone headphone breathable in hours? Oh yes, definitely. Um, I mean, I try them on myself and I can just imagine myself playing for hours and I need this. And I, I'm looking at you, I, I know Di uh, Diablo 4. I am super excited to play on that, um, that game once it does come out. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it is incredibly important for you to just game on for hours and um, I've tried them. They're super soft um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to add to it, but uh, what do you guys yeah. think? Have you guys I mean, tried them on yet? Yeah, or GT. Yeah, absolutely. For me, it's about those marathon gaming sessions. It's, you know, yeah. you start up after dinner and then suddenly it's about three o'clock in the morning and you're still going. I've been so, there. Yep. <laughs> I wish I was still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that work-life balance we're talking about, you know? Yeah, or school-life balance. Exactly. So key with these is even though they have all these incredible features, you're still getting 32 hours of battery life. So I can do that all night marathon gaming session. Wow. And if you're like me and constantly forget to charge your devices, that's a couple marathon gaming sessions before you got to charge them in again. So, yeah. JT lives in those 32 hour <gasps> days somehow. Well, you know, we were talking about energy drinks on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fair we enough. were. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so. Yes. Uh-oh. Is it that moment? It, well, it is. Okay. It's like I, I get all hyped about like the monitor, which I do not have. Yes. But let's be real. Okay. It's not necessarily going to be the solution for everybody, mm -hmm. right? It is kind of nice to have that option of having a great gaming monitor, which kind of works well with all of your schoolwork that you hopefully should be doing, or office work, or wherever you happen to be using it. But sometimes you just want a TV. Yes. So and we have some options. Yeah, we do. So what we're going to do now is, and I'm excited that we have the opportunity to do this. Derek and I have often had these debates about TV. I'll, I'll catch you over there in a second, yeah. man. We, uh, we have these debates about, you know, which TV model of ours, if they're all fantastic, but he and I sometimes have difference of, uh, differences of opinion on which one is the way to go. So I know Derek is gonna spend a little bit of time trying to convince me right now if the TV he wants to showcase is ideal for my life and my situation. So Derek, we'll pass it off to you, sir. All right. So I'm over here with the 43X80K. Now here's the great thing about this TV. It is very underrated because it is fantastic, especially for the price and especially in its size class. Cause of course at Sony, we don't mess around when it comes to picture quality. Of course, all of the other bells and whistles that you can want on a TV. Of course we have Sony's incredible picture processing. So no matter what you happen to be playing on it, be it games or watching movies or TV shows, everything will look awesome. I am a stickler for color accuracy and Triluminous Display does an amazing job of making sure colors are looking exactly how they should. So those of you who are out there as sports fans, you want your team to look like your team. You want the field to look like a field and not turf. So you're gonna find that on a Sony TV, especially with Triluminous Display. It is also a Google TV, so finding your content, no matter where it is, is very, very simple. Kind of cuts down on some of that browsing time of trying to find it because Google does an amazing job of recommending awesome content for you. So 43 inch X80K, perfect for the dorm, great as a, si a side room TV or secondary TV to kind of fill out some of those rooms and kind of shuffle mm. the TVs around the house. Uh, bring this guy into the family. It is an excellent TV. But I know, I can't see him, but I'm sure Larry's over there making some weird smile or something, waiting for his opportunity to <laughs> one up me because that's how he does it. But uh, Larry? Uh, hi, is this, what can we? Oh, we couldn't do it. Yeah, we couldn't we do it. We couldn't do it. Yeah, no. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. no, absolutely. And this time, Derek, it's not about one-upping you technically, because okay. although usually we debate these things out, I, I must agree with you. That is a very compelling TV. I love the fact that it's a 43 inch and I think it's a great secondary TV. But more importantly, I think that is like an incredible dorm option as well. So, mm -hmm. and that's cool. But this is where the one up comes in. Okay, this is where it comes in. For me and my preference, I um, like to err on the side of a more premium part of the TV spectrum. And that's why I am sitting next to your all probably have been eyeballing it all, you know, this show, is the A80K. Now, this is the 65 inch model, and I first wanna address many of you, uh, let's see, empty nesters that may be there. I know you, you probably have sent your, your sons or your daughters off to college and you've tucked away all this extra money for you to splurge on something for yourself, right? 
I think this is a great opportunity now that the kids are out to go ahead and take a look at the 65 inch A80K. It is $500 off its regular price and that is a great offer if you wanna put that in your living room. And then the 43 inch X80K that Derek talked about can be that secondary room. But if you love your kids, if you really love your kids, you may want them to be the envy of the campus. Could you imagine going back to school and having a 55 inch A80K as the centerpiece of your dorm room? You not only would become the talk of the campus, you would have the dormitory that everybody wanted to come to. Now that has its advantages and disadvantages. You charge an entrance fee. You can charge an <laughs> entrance fee. Yeah, you sure can. But also, hey, if you create an environment, parents are talking to you, right? If you create an environment where your kids are excited about the dorm that they're in, their living space, when you feel better, you think better. When you think better, you study more. When you study more, you are more successful. See what I did there? Wow. I've had wow, practice. That yeah. was amazing. I'm telling you. <laughs> but let me talk a little bit about, specifically more, about the AADK and some of the features that I love about it that I think make it a great TV. First of all, the obvious, it is, it is an OLED. So everything from its contrast, its clarity, its color performance, all of those things are phenomenal. So you definitely have that. Also, what I love about it is it does have multi-position stands. So you have the ability to raise it, lower it, or bring the stands in, in some cases, depending on the furniture that you're putting it on. And it is also wall mountable, not to forget that as well, okay? It is, it does have multiple HDMI 2.1 ports. So since Michelle was thinking gaming, you made me think about this. For those gamers out there, it does support features like VRR and ALLM, and HDMI 2.1, 4K at 20 frames per second. Yeah, sorry, yeah, I got it, 4K at 120. Well done. <laughs> yeah, see, you can tell who the gamer in the bunch is. All right, so, and then the last, well, what, the last two things I wanna tell you about this TV is, first of all, I don't want to forget about just the cognitive processor XR, okay? It is a revolutionary processor that takes everything you watch, no matter the source, and upscales it or remasters it, as I like to put it, in a higher level. So it doesn't matter if you're dealing with low bandwidth content from some of your streaming platforms, or if you're actually plugging in a Blu-ray player like some of the purists out there, you're definitely gonna have the best picture quality. The last feature is its sound performance, okay? It has Acoustic Surface Audio Plus, which sometimes I throw those terms out there, but really what I'm saying is, basically the screen is the speaker. There are actuators on the back that vibrate the screen that give you crystal clear audio performance that emanates throughout the entire dorm for the purposes here. And I love the sound quality of this TV, absolutely. Um, aren't you forgetting something important? I typically do forget things that are important. <laughs> that I true. mean, I love having beautiful televisions and all, right? I watch my movies, I play my video games on it, but you gotta have sound with it, uh, right? And yes. right here we have our lovely S. 400 soundbar. Mm. So you're gonna need something like this to be able to hear, especially for you guys who are students, right? And for me, when I'm at work, um, I struggle hearing, you know, my calls. And for you, class sessions, this will definitely allow you to just connect your laptop, your tablet, or your phone to the soundbar. And you'll be able to hear things a lot better. You know, you can have your, your friends with you and study with you. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, 2.1 soundbar, clear dialogue with powerful bass. Yeah, I'm trying to contain myself because Michelle is trying to sell you all on the idea that you're gonna get a soundbar to listen to lectures. Did you guys catch that? You're gonna use your soundbar. Back to school. Who are you fooling? Back to school, Larry. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but. So back to school starts with a B and so does Bluetooth. So when she said Bluetooth, all I could think about <laughs> is Bluetoothing my phone to the S400 and having a dorm party on the weekend. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta keep, I gotta be the real one of the bunch, man. I, got, I have to. Yeah, un unfortunately parents, this is probably the realistic side of it. <laughs> but those of you who are parents probably already know that's the case anyway. Yeah. So. Okay, parents, don't, don't worry. We've got 
something called night mode. It's it's on the little mini soundbar remote that it comes with, and it helps to subdue the bass that is coming from that wireless subwoofer. So yeah. you're saying I can watch my movies and not have the RA pounding on my door at two o'clock in the morning? Mm. Yes, absolutely. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's almost like you have the choice. Exactly. Yeah. You can let them be knocking be like, again, JT. <laughs> no, it'd be more, more like <laughs> Michelle. Really? <laughs> again? It's three a.m. Yeah. Come join me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you, Stormy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 100%. I, I love that. And I think you bring up a good point. And I think at the end of the day, Derek, it, it doesn't matter which TV is the ideal television for the dorm or even from the home, depending on who our viewers are. They're at great prices right now. The, how much is the 43X8K? Five hundred and forty-nine dollars. Five hundred forty-nine. Ninety-nine cents. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And absolutely, the fifty-five A eighty K say five hundred bucks. I believe is fourteen ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. And all three sizes, fifty-five, sixty-five, and seventy-seven, are all five hundred dollars off. So should you want to go absolutely big, you can do so. Yes. Yeah. There's there there are a lot of we have other TVs too. Yes, we so do. you can always check out Sony.com. Follow the links over into some of the TV options and. Take a look and see what catches your eye. And that actually brings up something that I want to bring up again, and that is the one-on-one -on -one consultation because I saw in here, ah, uh, let me see if I can find you. Where are you, Ryan Clark? There you are, I see you, Ryan Clark. All right, I have an answer for you, sir. So you have some questions about some particular products. Now, we did go through a lot of those categories that you mentioned in the comments already, so you can always go back and visit this video um, after we're done, if you like, because we got some good information, but, if you want to get more of a one-on-one -on -one communication, because unfortunately we can only go so far with this right now, the one-on-one -on -one consultation that's available in the description uh, will bring you to a link that allows you to schedule a 30-minute one-on-one consultation with someone like myself or even Michelle, and we can discuss whatever it is you have to be looking for to find the best Sony solution for you and your needs. My only ask is being part of the program is to put in as much detail into the questions as you can so of course we can be best prepared to answer those questions to the best of our ability to maximize those yep. 30 minutes we have together. So yep. make sure you check that And While we're here, make sure you subscribe, 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 <laughs> subscribe, subscribe <laughs> and like and notification bell and all that good stuff. Cause hopefully we'll be doing even more of these as well in the future. Yep. Now, sorry, I had to, I saw that took an opportunity to no, jump into that, but I want to go a little bit further when it comes to audio. If I may. You can't, yes, may you I? may. Absolutely. I love how we're so cordial. <laughs> of course. So great. Um, the S400 is a fantastic soundbar. And again, you know, I'm very much a bang for the buck kind of person. That's why I love the 43X80. It is yes. a, an awesome TV, especially for the price. Yes. No doubt that the A80K is amazing for what it is. Right. The S400 is amazing for what it is. Right. But sometimes you want to go even further. True. I know, Larry, you always talk about these house parties and all the crazy <laughs> stuff that you do. Yes. So I imagine yes. something like the A5000 soundbar, HT A5000 soundbar, <laughs> might be right up your alley. My friend, you imagined correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you well, sure okay. did. I, yeah, no. Right. So there are, there's, of course, there's always a step up level. Sure. And the HT A5000, just in brief, is an incredible soundbar. It offers you so much more. There's a feature that I really want to just kind of call out is 360 SSM or 360 spatial sound mapping. Cool thing about that, this sound bar is a part of like a modular design step of blah. I've got the Derek in me, a modular, <laughs> a more, a modular design setup to where you can choose the sound bar. You can also add wireless rears if you so choose. And you also can choose between not one, but also two subwoofers, one or the other, to figure out how this fits. And there are actually, what, two wireless rear setups. Absolutely. Now, right? Yeah, there was a new one. <laughs> to, best, to best fit your environment. The beautiful thing about that is, we're so accustomed to sound bars delivering the audio directly from in front of you. But with 360 spatial sound mapping, it takes the room, maps it out, and with the configuration of the speakers that you choose, it creates this 360 degree spherical atmospheric audio cocoon that you can live in and become more immersed in the content you're watching. So when you're binge watching, whatever it is that you're binge watching in between studying and homework and all those other things, you can definitely not just watch the movie, you can feel like you're a part of it. This is actually the reason why we go to, to actual cinemas is to feel more of a part of it and the audio plays a huge role there, so yeah. 
I, I just want to make a little the question. Where did, where did I see it? Uh oh, I got to find it again here. Um, Pragmatic Cat. Yeah, turn on the lights when we hear, <laughs> hear from three doors down is 3 a.m. Here's my thing. You gotta, if you have a teacher who's lecturing at 3 a.m., I bet that's an interesting class. I'm just saying. So that could be pretty sweet. It has so, to be. You know, it might be pretty cool. Be. Yeah. So I know we've talked about a lot of different products and categories, and we are, so if you have any last minute questions before we wrap up, we are gonna make sure that we take one more dive into those questions. But I wanna step back for a second and see if we can go around the room since we've had some extensive time, but like the categories that we, that we covered, and figure out what is, and I'll start with you, Derek, if I can. I know I wasn't going to, but this time I am. Oops. If I can start with you. What is your favorite product of all the ones that you've talked about? What's the one product that you want to share with us? Sorry, I got distracted. I dropped the mouse yeah, and I lost okay. the feed there <laughs> for a second. I was going to buy you the, some time. The questions. <laughs> um, and I can't. Neat. No, I can't read that. But. Oh, the, yeah. yeah. Neat Melissa. Agreed. I like it. Yes. Good stuff. Um, Over everything. So, <laughs> so here's the thing. Like, uh, it is tough. And, I, and you guys had to narrow me down to a category because yes. unfortunately there is so much here that I want and it would be so easy to pick three or four things from every category. Mm -hmm. But you had to narrow me down and throw me in a corner. So I'll accept that for this time. But it is definitely gonna be Link Buds S. Ah. Link Buds S, seriously, like these have changed my life like quite literally. Mm -hmm. um, I use them so frequently. Like I mentioned, I have a three-year-old daughter. And uh, you know, I don't always like what she's listening to. I can only hear <laughs> kids' songs <laughs> on repeat for so long before I start to be like, right. you know. So right. I want something, I want to have access to my own stuff, but at the same time, I don't want to lose focus of her. Mm -hmm. Because she is at a critical height. Yes. That things can be dangerous. So, right. and, and I love her so much and I got to take care of her, but you know, this keeps the sanity rolling. So it makes it uh, much more enjoyable. I love these and it makes me, it makes it easier to ignore Larry when I need to. Oh, so the truth comes out. I would never <laughs> deny it. <laughs> I would never deny it. I love it. That, that's, I'll remember that. Uh, Michelle, what about you? What, what's the product that you're most excited about that you think is a back to school essential? Oh gosh, back to school. I mean, I mean, I talked about M9s, yes. right? And um, honestly, by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys knew this, but it does have an auto KVM switch. And what that actually does is it means you can actually seamlessly switch from writing your essay to back to your work. Nice. Okay, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to, you know, game on and clam up with you, Stormy. Um, I'm, I'm ready to just get everything to, you know, get all set up with the H9 too, of course, okay. you know. Um, I love that you point out the aesthetics because I was thinking, wow, it really does match. You know, it's perfect for PlayStation 5 for a reason. It looks just like the PlayStation 5 right. and I got to have this to match with it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and now I'm ready. I'm ready to pew, pew, pew all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle makes me feel so much better about not focusing on the aesthetics that I, I just can't contain myself <laughs> right now. Um, as for me, obviously I spent a lot of time with wireless speakers and if you saw the clip before I got to do my presentation, um, I actually learned a newfound respect for this little guy here, the XE200, okay? Um, to, I'm not recommending this, but we talked a lot about IP67, dustproof, waterproof, we did, but it's also shockproof. And the fact that I actually allowed it to take a tumble down the stairs um, and then buried it in sand, oh boy. placed it in the water as the current was coming in and then Remember that I had to go retrieve it as it began floating out into the ocean. Um, the fact that it stood up to what I tried to do was honestly try to, to you know, put it through its paces. And the sound quality was amazing. Really love the battery life about it. But the thing I didn't call out, which I did on the XP13, is the handy strap that's on here. So to be able to have this strap, it, it's, it's long enough to where you can use it, wrap it, do whatever you need to. I can imagine definitely, again, throwing this on a backpack right on the, the loop, hitting across campus, looking over your shoulder and realizing that there are 35 people behind you because you've got a concert on campus, um, different than Michelle's concert. Um, <laughs> and it's just an amazing, amazing product. I love the way it sounds. And XE, 
200 is my pick for my favorite on the go all time product. Well, I'm just glad to know where all the sand is coming from now that I know that speaker's leaking it everywhere <laughs> on me. <laughs> Busted. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, it really comes down to the ZV-1. So we talked a lot about content creation and yeah, you may be doing that as a side hustle, but if you think of how many media projects and how many video projects you do on campus, Having something to not only capture memories, as Michelle was saying, but also just deliver a higher quality result. And then, as Derek mentioned too, USB streaming, if you need to present in class, if you need to present on your side hustle, it is way better than those built-in webcams you get on laptops, so you're looking like an absolute pro. Mm. And then adding on the wireless shooting grip just makes it so easy to capture yourself. Or if you want to set it up on a tripod on your desk, let's face it, dorm room space is very limited. This just makes life so easy. It's a great point. Yeah, I just want to take a moment. Um, take two to, moments. I, it might be, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but but it, just kind of imagine this, right? The story that we've kind of told as far as how this pertains to somebody coming back to school or going back to school, but honestly, in any part of your life, but I'm gonna reference it to school, back to school. All right, so let's say you're going away for the first time ever. Something like the Link Buds are a perfect fit to give you access to your content on the go you're walking in for the first time ever, probably a little nervous, you've got some music, kind of calm yourself down a little bit, but you don't have to worry about missing something, you know, not noticing a friend calling you from behind that you haven't seen in years, being accessible to all the stuff going on, announcements and stuff like that. You get into your dorm, now you've got your personal audio, you start to make some more friends, you go out, you hang out with the crowd, now you're bringing the party with you with these incredible portable speakers while you're hanging out in the dorm. You've got a great gaming monitor, which is a work slash play option, which is great. A sound bar that maybe you wanna to add to that to kind of flesh things out or to the TV possibly. Whether it is a 43 inch, a 55 or something even crazier, you have a bunch of options, but Sony has the technology to fit any and all of the needs that you might have. I wanna mention, I forgot about camera. I need to mention camera. Content creators, and also recording those memories. Yeah. Right, here's the important thing. This is what I love about cameras because memories are things that you record a moment that happens, but if you miss that moment, you can't have it recorded. So you have to capture those things and make note of those things so you have them for the future and to tell those stories. Share them out to the world because that's really what it's all about. So I love the story. I love that we have something for everybody and options within all of those categories as well. So, sorry, yeah. that was a bit of a tangent, but. No, 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 I agree. I, 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 not, not that I agree it's a tangent, I agree what you were saying. It all saying. flows yeah. together for no, me. No, it so does, I, it I does tell little, an entire back to school little, story. Yeah. There. That's okay. Um, yeah, so maybe we should answer some questions. And again, keep that. in mind yeah. uh, that we do have the one-on-one -on -one consultation program, uh, so check that out if you want to go more in depth to help you find the right product for your particular needs. Uh, what do we have in terms of Question. Hi, Christine. Yes. Uh, just, as you're scrolling up, I did see one Sorry. camera question further up, so I just want to make sure it gets oh, answered. Right. I think yes. it got, oh. uh, I think it got buried a little bit there. Uh, but saw someone had an older NEX uh, 3 camera, so that is actually compatible with all the new Sony E-mount lenses. So that's mm -hmm. the great thing about this camera system is we're now up to 70 different lenses, mm -hmm. so you can really unlock your creativity. I still have my NEX 5T. Nice. And it's amazing. Wow. Yep. That's, uh, I still have something newer, but it's, it's yeah, some good stuff. Nice. <laughs> Burner um, account. Love your name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, JT, do you want to handle that one? From uh, Yang. Ying Hong says, uh, does Inzone M9 work with Mac? Yeah, so we do have HDMI 2.1. We've also got uh, DisplayPort 1.4, and then of course uh, USB-C as well. So just check the specifications on your specific computer. Uh, just to make sure you are compatible with the latest uh, display tech out here. Yep, absolutely. Awesome. Very good. So what else we have? Um, <sighs> Alareza. S. Uh, all the details for that will be on the Sony website. So make sure you check out the click the just the page uh, to head over to the Sony website and it'll show you all of those options available that might happen to be for whatever you happen to be looking at. Yeah. Um, Anish A, um, about bringing products, all the products globally, I am not that connected, but I will do you one better. How about follow this channel and I will absolutely run upstairs here shortly and at least put a memo on someone's desk that that's something that you're hoping that we can have. Mm -hmm. And I hear that a lot, so that's awesome. We'll, we'll definitely see what we can do about that. 
Yeah. Uh, Zifax had a couple questions in here about the Sony style retail store. <laughs> Just keep an eye out for things. I don't have any information on that, unfortunately. Um, but some cool ideas there, of course. Um, Sony style gift cards don't expire. That's going to be a, 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 yeah, I think I read that right. What do we do with it? Yeah, we won't Sony be able to, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that's gonna, not going to be something that we can answer here, but make sure you check out Sony.com and head to like the support yep. Um, and yep. send some questions in. Hopefully, they can get that taken care of for you. Yep. All right. Let's see. What's that? Cool. I, think, I think for me, yeah, I think that's it. I think, first of all, we want to thank you all yes. for participating and joining. Um, it's not often that we get the opportunity to truly engage with everybody that's out there, answer questions in real time and be able to uh, figure out what's on your mind and also showcase some of the things that we love and we're excited about. So again, there's tons of things that you can be doing with your time right now, but the fact that you guys decided to spend it with us means a lot to us and we will continue to do more of these. So please, again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel yeah. and that you can follow us. Yeah, and especially like if you want to see more, of us. Hopefully you do, because um, we're, we're still a little new to this. So we want to hear a lot of hubbub <laughs> about it, if you will. So so let people know. Send them to this while it's available on YouTube. Uh, have them put in some comments, like, subscribe, notification bell, all those cool things, because obviously we want to we want to take care of all of you out there to the best of our ability. And we love having the opportunity of answering some questions and, and really making this as personal as possible because yeah. we love talking about this stuff, which hopefully we display. But yes, Robert Burns, LinkBuds S. Yes, absolutely. Get yeah. one. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. So I think that is about it. So we're yep. gonna wrap up. Yep. Thank you again for watching. I've been Derek from Sony. I'm Michelle from Sony. And it's your boy Larry. And I'm JT with Sony. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. And you'll see us Peace. next time. Peace! <laughs> <laughs>